Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as we are about to start our last technical session on defense. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome you back for the last technical session on defense of the sixth annual International Research Symposium of General Sir John Kotanavala Defense University, 2013. The session is themed on post-war challenges of Sri Lanka as a developing nation. Now, I would like to invite the chairperson of this session, Major General Melinda Pires, the Vice Chancellor of KDU, accompanied by Brigadier N.K. Vadugada Pitiya, to take the seats at the head table. At the same time, I would like to invite the presenters of the session to take their seats on the stage. Mrs. Nero Shavadasingha. Professor D.S. Vitana. Mrs. Vasana Nilmini Gamage Panditaratna, Mr. Sanat Chandana De Silva, and finally, Commander Rohan Joseph. Now, may I call upon Brigadier and K. Vadugada Pitya, the Dean, Faculty of Graduate Studies of KDU, to give a brief introduction to the chairperson of the session. Over to you, sir. It is with great pleasure I introduce the chairperson of the fourth and final defense technical session of the International Symposium of KDU 2013. He is our Vice Chancellor, Main General, Minister of Defense. He is a graduate of National Defence College, New Delhi, Commander Staff College, Bangladesh, and Armour School, Fort Knox, Kentucky, USA. He has had his higher military training in both India and Pakistan. He commanded the 5th Regiment of the Sri Lanka Armoured Corps with distinction. He was also the commanding officer of the officer cadet wing at the Sri Lanka Military Academy. Subsequently, he commanded the 561 Infantry Brigade. Two, three, two infantry brigade uh, and thereafter he commanded the armored brigade. He was the direct operation at the joint operation headquarters and had been appointed as the defense military naval and air at attache for the Sri Lanka embassy in the USA. Major General Melinda Pires commanded the 2-2 division in Trinkamale as the general officer commanding due to the period of liberation of the east by the security forces. After that, he was appointed as the Director General for the Center of Research and Development, Ministry of Defense and Military Secretary to the Army Headquarters prior to his present duties. Presently, he is the Vice Chancellor of the General Sir John Kotalawa Defense University. Over his present responsibility, Major General Milita Pires was the Colonel Commandant of the Mechanized Infant Regiment before taking over his own regiment recently. He is also serving as a member of the Council, University of Moratua, and a member of the Board of Management of the Lakshman Kadiragam Institute for International Relations and Strategic Studies, member of the Board of Management of Defense Services Command and Staff College. Major General Milita Pires, in recognition of his contribution to Sri Lanka's higher education sector, has been appointed as a member of the Standing Committee on the Quality Assurance and Accreditation. 
He holds a master's degree in philosophy awarded by the University of Madras, postgraduate diploma in management, Open University, Sri Lanka, and diploma in senior level defense management in University of Indore, India. He is a recipient of Ranavik, Ranavikram Padakrama and Ranasura Padakrama, awarded for gallantry in battle. He is also a recipient of Uttama Seva Padakrama for his unblemished military career in the Army and the Legion of Merit, which is a military decoration of the United States Armed Forces awarded for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding services and achievement. With that, sir, I may now request you to take over the proceeding of the sessions. Over to you, sir. Good evening to all of you. We had a very interesting sessions in the morning and then in the afternoon also. And this is supposed to be the last session, the technical session in the defense session. So the today's topic is, the theme is the post-war challenges of the Sri Lanka as a developing nation. We have been deliberating this subject during the last two days almost. And uh, there are many challenges to face, and out of which the main challenge is, one is, is the most important also, is the education. We have to be professionals in our field of uh, area that we work, whether it could be military or any other field. That is one of the most important and vital challenge of post-war. And also then, about the climatic change, maybe water, there are so many other challenges. And another most important is the security. To sustain the peace that we have gained, how we are going to shape up our security architecture to face the newer challenges in the future. So with that, today we have We have um, Mrs. Vedasinghe huh? is going to talk about uh, eliminating disability digital divide to, m to make Sri Lanka a hub in Asia. So this is very important uh, topic where she is going to talk about the digital divide of the differently able people in Sri Lanka the most, most of them are, belongs to the military. So let's invite Ms. N. Vedisinghe to deliberate on eliminating disability digital divide to make Sri Lanka hub in Asia. She also holds a BSc in computer studies from London Metropolitan University, UK, and masters in IT from Charles Stewart University, Australia. Currently, she is reading for PhD in Kotalawala Defense University. She is another student of KDU also. And her research interest is mainly on ICT for differently able community. Today she will deliver her presentation on the on eliminate disability digital device to make Sri Lanka has a hub in Asia. Over to you, 